So now you're going to lay your two squares on top of each other with the right side facing each other. And you're going to attach your yarn to the bottom corner. So now you're going to single crochet all the way up the side of your sweater. Just keep going with your single crochets until you're about six or six and a half inches away from the top. So you yeah, just keep going with your single crochets until you are about six or six and a half inches away from the top. And then do the very same to the other side. So for your shoulders, attach your yarn to the top corner, single, single crochet six inches in, cut your yarn, fasten off, and then attach your yarn to the other corner and then single crochet six inches in and then fasten off. So to begin your sleeves, chain 43 for a small, 46 for a medium and 49 for a large. And then double crochet into the second chain from the hook and then double crochet to the very end. Your sleeve pattern is the exact same pattern as your back, only you have fewer stitches. So do exactly what you've done to your front and back pieces. Uh, until your sleeve measures from your shoulder to just above your wrist. So once your sleeve is long enough, it should look like this. So you're going to chain one. single crochet into that very first stitch then you're going to single crochet two together so insert your hook pull through insert your hook into the next stitch pull your yarn through and then yarn over and pull through three stitches that's a single crochet two together so into your next stitch do a single crochet and then single crochet two together and repeat that to the very end of your row. Now for your next row, chain two, turn your work double crochet into that very first stitch and then double crochet into every stitch to the end of the row. For your next row, chain two, turn your work Double crochet into that very first stitch. Into your next stitch do a front post double crochet. Into the next stitch do a back post double crochet 
so continue with your front post double crochet back post double crochet until you come to the end For your next row, chain two, turn your work, double crochet into that very first stitch. Then you're going to do a front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet until you reach the end. And then repeat that row another two or three times depending on how thick you want your your cuff so now you'll have something that looks like this so you're going to fold your sleeve like so make sure that the textured side is in the inside and then you're going to single crochet the side seam of your sleeve together So once, once you reach the end, you're going to cut your yarn. Make sure that you leave a long tail because you'll need that to sew in your sleeve. So now place your sleeve against the armhole. Make sure that the seam of your sleeve is facing downwards and then just single crochet your sleeve to your armhole. And then repeat this entire process again for your second sleeve.
Now we're going to start on the neckline. So attach your yarn to the corner here, chain two, and then you're going to double crochet all the way around your neckline. And then when you come to the end, you're going to slip stitch into the very first double crochet that you made. So yeah, continue with your double crochet all the way around and then when you come to the end, slip stitch into the very first double crochet. So once you've gone all the way around, you're going to chain two. double crochet into that same stitch and then you're going to front post double crochet back post double crochet all the way around and then when you come to the end you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet that you made and then continue that row for another one or two more times So now you're going to attach your yarn to the bottom corner of your sweater. And then you're going to chain two and then you're going to double crochet all the way around the bottom edge of your sweater. And then slip stitch into the first double crochet that you made to close the round. So once you finish your first round, you're going to chain two and then you're going to double crochet into that first stitch and then you're going to do your front post double crochet, back post double crochet all the way around, slip stitch into the first double crochet that you made and then repeat that row another three or four times. And that's it, that's your sweater completed. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, take care.